Hey everyone, so I just want to do a quick video about changing the uh, all two sensors on an Aston Martin V8 Vantage 2007 um, and up to the new one. I did a video on this a couple of weeks ago and the only reason I'm adding this this to this uh, this uh, video is because there was a little bit of confusion about which, uh, which sensors um, match which plug. So I'm going to get under the vehicle and show you which plugs uh, match which sensors and what the codes might be that you would that you would get. So let's start out uh, with the two sensors that I've actually removed. So you see here that there's the uh, green plugs here. Uh, these green plugs correspond to the, the O2 sensors that are before the catalytic converters. I've actually removed both of these and replaced them. Uh, the ones that I use to replace them are these MTK22106s. They come with a longer cable, uh, which you don't need. You're gonna have to wrap it away, keep it away from the uh, exhaust manifold and try and keep it behind the shields, but they do um, have the same connector and they're apparently the same O2 sensors, uh, but for a little bit less money. Uh, they also have white plugs, so once you change the plugs you want, they won't be color coded anymore. Um, but that, that shouldn't be a problem because when you're pulling them out, it's going to be really obvious which one is which. But let's go ahead and take a look under the vehicle so we can have a better idea which one goes where. Okay, we are underneath the vehicle. Uh, looking pretty much straight up, uh, you see the back of the the back of the vehicle there, and these are the two O2 sensors that uh, are for rear of the catalytic converter, and then here are the first the sensors that are below before the catalytic converter. Um, these are the ones that I've just changed out. So this one here, the front on a US passenger side, I'm currently kind of like lying under the driver's side of the vehicle, Co corresponds to this you see this white plug here this was the one that was originally green when i when i showed you at the start of this video and then this blue one on the passenger side corresponds to this rear one so this front one is the one with the short cable goes to that green connector that blue one goes to um the rear one on the passenger side that connector now the same is true on the other side of the vehicle let me just try and uh, move around i don't have as much space here but, oh, I just accidentally turned my light off. Hang on, there we go. So here is the front of the vehicle on the driver's side. The blue plug goes to the rear sensor, which is back here. And the green plug, which is the one that I've just changed, you can see it is now white, goes to this sensor right here. So hopefully that clears it up. And um, if you change these sensors, you won't have any issues figuring out which one is which. It is relatively easy to pull these through without with having the uh, having the cables above the heat shield, and uh, it it didn't take too long. I wasn't too stressed about breaking um, breaking the cables because if I did, I would just be able to uh, run a cable. Um, literally from here to here to do the front ones so it, only, it doesn't actually even need to travel that far um uh but so i don't think it's that difficult a job it's worth doing it yourself and not taking it to the dealership so hopefully this helps thanks a lot 